Welcome everybody to my top 10 best survival anime. What do you think of when you hear the word survival? Do you think like, oh yeah, Battle Royale, Apex Legend, fam, season 4 coming down? Or are you more like, well, surviving in the wild? It could be either, or both, truly. Really. But to clear things out, I decided to focus purely on one of the two. This video is going to be the Battle Royale Arena edition, so if you're slightly disappointed, not to worry. I've made a simultaneous list exactly dedicated to surviving in the wild that you can pick and watch if that's more your speed. Think of this top 10 survival anime like Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. Each list will have exclusive entries, but we're talking about roughly the same thematic, different execution. If you want the Hunger Game type, you're in the right place. My name is Misty Slash Canisia, and here are my 10 favorite survival anime. Yeah, yes, both intros to each video is almost exactly the same. Nicely spotted. And yes, it is on purpose. Let's go! Number 10, Magical Girl Raising Project. I debated a bit on which anime I wanted to put as my number 10. It was either this one, Umineko, or Gods. Umineko is really cool, but I figured it wasn't really battle royale enough. Gans, I love a lot, but it's kind of a team versus team kind of battle royale. So in the end, I went with Magical Girl Racing Project. But don't let that stop you from picking up the other two. MGRP is a story about a girl who finally gets selected to play the game that allows you to be a magical girl. But to her dismay, she also finds out the intricacy of said game that is much darker than her first impression of it was. It has some similar energy to the dark magical girl trope a la Madoka Magica, but compared to all the other stale clones, this one, I kind of like it. Very good. <laughs> Number 9, Dead Man Wonderland. Such a cool show that I have to put so high up on this list because it got cancelled and we never got more than the first season. The studio that made it, Man Globe went bankrupt, so it's kind of a cursed anime in a sense. The story is about Ganta, a middle schooler who one day sees a strange figure outside of his classroom window, and the next thing he knows, he wakes up to his entire class brutally murdered. Since he's the sole survivor, he's accused of the crime and sent to a maximum security prison, the infamous Denman Wonderland. A place where convicts have to play a sordid game of killing each other or purely beating their opponent to earn points and afford candies, a drug that allowed them to survive longer before their untimely execution. Ganta is forced against his will to play along and it's just, it's, it's just good. Pick up the manga if the anime's ending leave you wanting more. This has the benefit of actually having a proper conclusion. <laughs> Number 8. Zodiac War Juni Tyson is a bit of a mixed bag where ignorance is bliss. This story is about an infinite power that hosts a tournament of some sort, and each person who attends the tournament is assigned a sign of the Chinese Zodiac. Pig, snake, dragon, rooster, the entire list. These 12 fighters must duke it out until there is only one left who will get his or hers ultimate wish granted. While this sounds like a great premise, there is a bit of a setback to it. The ending theme song. It tells you exactly in which order people are going to die. So of course, getting spoiled on an anime like this kind of takes away all the fun of the show. That being said, I was fortunate enough to get the heads up about it and I could enjoy this story at its best by avoiding watching the ending theme song. Some people were a bit annoyed by the actual ending of the show as well, but to me I found that to be really, really good. This show to me is like an 8 out of 10 and definitely not a 6 as most people claim it to be. But if you got spoiled, I guess it would ruin the experience for you. Try it out as blindly as you can, go at it, and you'll have a blast for sure. Number 8. Number 7. Darwin Games 
Darwin Games is the new anime dark horse of the season. Not everyone likes it, obviously, but I'm kind of a sucker for the survival anime like that, so it's right up my speed. The story is about a high school student who gets sucked into a mobile game. The game pair you against another enemy and it becomes a real life 1v1 match where you have to kill the other person. Obviously, nothing is disclosed upfront, so he kinda have to learn on the go. Some people dislike the show, it's a bit pandering to the common crowd, but uh, again, I enjoy it quite a bit. Call it a guilty pleasure. There are better ones on this list, but in the off chance you've seen everything else, at least this one is still currently airing, so you might have some catching up to do. Number 6. Danganronpa Always gotta preface this with the following statement. Play the game instead of watching the anime, or the Danganronpa community will lynch me. But in all seriousness, I saw the first season of Danganronpa as an anime, and it got me hooked on the franchise, so it can't be all bad. Anyway, the story is about a group of students who got locked into a school, where mascot tells them that they have to kill a student and get away with it to be freed from the confinement. Failed and you're executed as well. Kind of a detective locker room mystery mixed with a survival anime. A, a weird mix for sure, I know, but it works really well. Art style is super unique and there's some really nice twists along the way as well. Well worth the experience, but if you can, again, you should try the game first. It's much more immersive. Number 5. Batum Batum has always been an all-time favorite of mine. The story is about a video game where people are pit on an island against other players. All the weapons are explosive bombs, but each type of bomb is different. It goes from motion detected, to landmine, to anything you can think of. The main character is really good at the game, so he gets recruited along with a few other players to do a live reenactment of the game on an actual island. He befriends an old man and together they try to win, but at the same time on the island there is another player, a girl, who must fend off the predators who want to kill her or have their way with her, both of which don't sound very pleasant. The enemy is a high octane action show where each player tries to avoid an untimely demise and outsmart their opponent while using the bombs creatively. My biggest gripe about the show is the fact that not a single player has tinnitus at the end of it, <laughs> but it is as battle royale as it gets. <laughs> Number 4. Future Diary This is one a lot of people have heard about it for its infamous character Yunogasai. If you haven't seen it, well, you're about to find out why. The anime is your typical battle royale, 12 players, one for each number on the clock, are forced into a game of killing the other players. Their identity is hidden and each player has a special ability with their respective phone. They try to beat the other player and, well, of course, not die along the way. So the main character teams up with a girl from his class who turns out to be a little bit um, overwhelming, st stocky. Personal space dudette is what Yuki should say if he wasn't such a pansy. Opinions are pretty divisive on this anime. Mine is, yeah, it's pretty good, but make sure to watch the additional OVA at the end, uh, otherwise uh, you'll get a pretty confusing ending, Evangelion style. That's just my two cents. <laughs> Number 3. My Hime. Now, I refuse to shut up about this anime. I'm on a fucking crusade and I will not rest until the entire world has seen this godforsaken anime. Give it three episodes. Right now. I don't even care if you stop watching my video to pick up this show instead. That's how dedicated I am to gospel this anime. The story is about a sister and a brother who joins a new school. At that school, some girls have special powers and are referred to as Hime. They are forced into a battle against other Himes and they must defeat whoever they are up against. However, losing comes with a terrible cost to pay, and unfortunately there can be only one winner. 
Sincerely, an outstanding anime with cliffhangers every episode, a really well thought out and complete story from start to finish, and a killer soundtrack. Again, I'll just never shut up about it, so take that L and watch it to join my army so we can make everyone else watch it too! See what I did there? Number 2. Ultimate Survivor Kaiji This one is a different kind of battle royale, in the sense that people don't die when they lose, I mean, some do, but the premise of Kaiji is about how a young adult struggling financially gets invited on a boat with the promise of if he plays a game and win, he will be sorted cash-wise for life. Intrigued, he decides to go, but to his horror, he also finds out what would happen if he was to lose this game. The art style is a bit unconventional, but you'll quickly get swept into the story regardless. Kaiji's resourcefulness against his other opponents really gets you to cheer for him, so he can get out of this twisted cycle. Lots of mind games a la Death Note, with characters trying to outwit each other. It's a very good show. And finally, the number one spot goes to Fate Zero. I mean, this is the obvious pick when it comes to Battle Royale survival anime. It has been the go-to anime for everyone and it's just excellent all around in terms of execution. Plus, if you already saw Fate Zero and you just want more of that same goodness, you can always just tackle Fate Unlimited Blade Works, which is just an alternate route. The premise is about a group of people who summon legendary fighters to fight on their behalf. Every fighter is a different historical figure, so the lore is really nice. The battle are all flashy and epic in the proper sense of the term, and it's beloved by nearly everyone. It's a formula that's pretty hard to mess up. I recommend it for all the good boys and girls! And that's it! These are the 10 most compelling survival anime battle royale that I could recommend you to try. That being said, all of these again are the battle royale type where the character must fight for his spot on the roster. If you'd like a less feisty kind of survival, I strongly suggest you check out the sister video I made and that I've uploaded at the exact same time if you haven't already called the top 10 best survival anime, the uh, don't die edition. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, where instead of the battle royale team, it's more like stranded on an island or all hell broke loose and you must survive in this new environment. I think both of these type of survivals are really fun and I heard you to check them out. It's also more ad revenue for me so everyone wins. Don't forget to give me that licky licky boom boom and I'll catch you guys next time! Turns a bit on the wrong side, I've been ashamed So many memories, you know I'd like to change yeah.